Hi guys, in this video I'll be converting a propane tank into an air tank for storing compressed air. So this is useful if you have a uh, compressor like this which has a pretty decent compressor but the air tank is quite small. The first thing you got to do is make sure the tank is empty and just because you open the valve and nothing comes out doesn't mean it's empty. There's a, uh, in here there's a little, when you screw in the connection, it pushes in a secondary valve to make sure you can't just release gas just by opening the valve. So you have to stick something in and push a bit. In this case, there doesn't seem to be anything in it. So I think we're good. Now that all the pressure is released from the tank, we need to get the uh, valve out. And this is by far the most difficult thing in converting a tank like this. So they put a uh, glue and thread locker material in the threads and is almost impossible. It takes several hundred foot-pounds torque to get this thing out. And the most difficult part is actually holding the tank steady while doing this. I found the best way is to uh, use a, one of the straps, like uh, ratcheting straps like these, or bigger ones, and strap it to a 2x4 really, really tightly. Then brace the 2x4 and then you can get into the big wrench and a rod and unscrew the valve. So, what you want to do is take your 2 inch wide strap like this, and I'll show you how to put it on. Start putting it onto the tank somewhere. I'm going to go around. So, we're going an X pattern around. Brace this in place. Now you want to take the biggest wrench you've got, and a big uh, metal uh, piece of metal pipe, and screw it. And there we go. It's starting to come. Now it might be somewhat difficult. Take it the rest of the way go. There's the float assembly. This is uh, so you can't overfill the tank. When this comes up it stops you from filling it. And the next thing is to empty the uh, tank of propane completely. That's done just by filling it with water. Okay, I fully uh, filled and drained this with water. Now what I'm going to do is fill it with hot soapy water and slosh it around to try to remove as much of the uh, smelly chemical they put in the propane as possible. Okay, this is all rinsed out now, but we're not done yet. There's one uh, critical thing you have to do before using it for air, and that is coat the inside of the tank with a uh, rust-proof paint or rust primer. That's because the uh, air and uh, air and uh, air and water in the compressed air will cause the inside of the tank to rust, and that could weaken it and cause it to explode later. So first, we have to dry off the tank thoroughly. To dry this out, I'm going to use the Amtec blower. It's got a uh, tube taped into the uh, air outlet. I'll just run that into the uh, tank. 
and that will uh, evaporate the water quite effectively. Let's stir this up. This run for about 24 hours and then uh, you can apply the paint. Okay, it's the next day now. Let's turn off the fan and see how the uh, tank works inside. Okay, that doesn't look all that bad. I don't see any major signs of rust. So it looks like rust in the camera, but when you look, when you look at it directly, it doesn't. Coating the inside of the tank with paint is quite simple. You just pour your whole can of uh, rust paint or rust primer in, put a cap in and then just slosh it around so the puddle moves around the tank to all, uh, to all places and, co and covers it. So let's do it. No worries about waste here, just pour the whole thing in, and then when you're done, pour the rest back into your container. There we go. The excess paint is now drained out, so we just clean out the threads with the uh, valve and then put it on the blower again to dry the paint. Just rub the excess off with a Turn on the ventilation fan because it gets quite smelly. And now I guess we let this dry for a day or two, or maybe even more. Depends uh, if you check and see how long it actually takes for the paint to dry. The paint has dried thoroughly now. The fan's been running for about five days. I've made up an adapter to connect the uh, tank up to the compressor and to the to your fittings. And pretty much the only thing left to do now is to uh, pressure test it. Yeah, I've read from what I've read, these tanks are tested typically to about 400 psi, and since I have a 400 psi compressor for that air cannon, that's what I'll use. Let's fill up the tank with water first, so that if it fails, it won't be a massive explosion. Okay, we're ready for the pressure test. This goes in <clears throat> to the compressor over here. Let's hook up the uh, first compressor to get some, so it pumps faster. And we're ready. Pretty good. Release the air. And 
and here is the completed tank. Uh, one last thing I've probably got to do is put a little a brace in here so if you drop something on the end it won't uh, break the uh, connection off here. And one thing, you never must never ever uh, weld to or grind on the tank because that could cause uh, fractures, it could cause the tank to fail. So anyway, I hope you found this video informative. Thanks for watching.